when I get done, uh, I've got 80 gallons. This is what's going up the line right now. Uh, this will keep getting hotter and hotter. I usually try to stop it at about 180. You know, give a few minutes to get your uh, fire started, and then it takes about an hour and a half. And this is a well tank uh, that I may, I put a pipe in the center of it and welded it up. But you can use a, a gas water heater. It's already got a pipe running through the center. Now, when this temperature gets on up, uh, I'm going to show you at the end of the video, at the end whenever I'm cutting it off, show you what the temperature I got. Now you see I done drug the wood out of it and I done closed this off. I still got the thermosiphon valves on, open. Uh, this is the temperature here. 182.8 and I still got it open uh, so it can keep thermosiphon. This is on uh, 136.6 coming from the tank inside the house so it's got a mixture of uh, uh 180 and uh anyway it's it's mixing in there and this number even after you cut the fire out this number it'll 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 keep on thermocycling that hot water on the top of the tank it'll keep going up that line until it uh i don't know how long it'll keep going but it'll keep going i know for two hours uh, heating up and when you get that when you get what you want done you cut this this off and open this up and uh, start bringing in fresh water and then uh, close this top line close this off and open this one up and uh, I've done relieved the pressure on this about uh, three times. Uh, and really the best way, this is hooked into the plumbing, so the best way uh, is to go in the house and open the sink for a second. Well, for about five seconds. 